All right guys, how's it going? Uh, we are in the second week of filming for The Record Keeper and I just want to take you guys on a small tour of where we're at. We're at the Wapato Prison here in Oregon and just to give you an example of what it looks like. This is pretty much it. Yep. Looks just like what a prison should look like. This, is, this facility was uh, constructed and never used. No inmate has ever stayed here, and it's, 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 it's really great for filmmakers because it's very cheap to rent. You pay a guard to accompany you and some utilities, and it's yours. But now, I'm gonna take you to an area where we're actually building the set for Reyna's office. This is gonna be Reyna's new office back here, and uh, we're kinda, we decided to construct the whole thing because we ran into some location challenges. And, uh, hey, you guys need to be working. This is it break time? Right here is a set. Exactly looks like the other room, except for that monstrosity right there. So let's go inside and take a quick peek. Isn't that just amazing looking? And we constructed this set so it would actually fit inside the walls of the largest cell block. There are bars just on the other side of the window. And what's even cooler about this place is that they put soundproofing on the walls because they didn't want a lot of echo for inmates, so it's great for filming. Light, Lindsay, look! Debris, debris, go to the candles! This wheel here, it's a 10 foot in diameter wheel. It, it's supposed to turn every time there's a dramatic event. <laughs> The original plan for the record keeper was to film it at a hotel. And the reason for that is because there was a, a, a pilot that was shot that was shot in the Governor Hotel, and that was gonna be Raina's office. Don't you understand? Out of all the created beings, angels are the only ones to mutiny like this. We alone have challenged his law. Well, we couldn't go into the hotel because we would have had to own the entire building for about six straight weeks, and there was no way we could afford that. Mankind has just defected. So we had to construct an entire set from scratch. And the prison became just this perfect spot. It became our entire working headquarters. Our production offices were located there. You know, the whole front area with printers and fax machines and things like that. We had a huge area for wardrobe with fitting rooms, sewing stations, all kinds of things like that. Makeup had its own area. We had a lot of actors in heavy makeup that needed a lot of attention. Um, they also built props in this room. We had our separate green screen location. Caden's headquarters was also constructed there, and the walls of Caden's headquarters were made out of a parachute. Um, this was in an area that was literally about 200 feet away from Reyna's headquarters. It was just right across the hall, so it made moving from place to place extremely easy. And when it came to Loris's headquarters, we just used the straight up prison walls because we wanted Caden's headquarters to feel very soft, very cocoon-like, but we wanted Loris's headquarters to feel hard and glass and, and walls. And you definitely see that in the main uh, room where he's, he meets with his baddies. Um, that's where the prison guard station actually is. And believe it or not, even the desert camp where the wise men are was all constructed in the back of the prison. 